Hey guys, Anthony Pitch Bonnie here back with another market update. In today's video, we're going to go over where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going to go in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you're definitely going to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's dive into the charts. So this past week, we had a real explosive move. So we had a fake out down low and then a big, big rally into the week to close off the week. And I caught some shorts on NASDAQ. Basically, what happened here was I shorted NASDAQ down to 720. It's because there was weak breath on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ was being weaker than ES because the banks were bouncing back up this past week. So if the banks were bouncing up, that, that carries S&P 500 more than the NASDAQ. Tech stocks were, were overbought, in my opinion. So I caught the short at 950, and my TP was 720. So it was right there. 721, actually, is what I got out at. And uh, my stop was above the, the recent high. So it was uh, about a 1.6 reward ratio. So it caught 230 points on the NASDAQ short, as you can see here on Monday. So Monday got in short, and then I was out by Tuesday. And then I was, I, I actually got in the long from uh, 39.90 on ES to 40.80. If you look back in the previous video, I said on ES, I said that oh, we're likely to take these highs out here, uh, at least the 40.74, but most likely this 40.83. So I said that, you know, we're going to target these highs here, but I didn't want to get in right here above 4,000. So Tuesday, that's where it was. Tuesday, I got in on the entry and the long was 39.90. TP was 40.80. So I got in here. And the stop was below this recent low here at 39.37, TP being 40.80, and uh, I got out. Actually, I, I ended up taking profit at 40.79 before this uh, recent high here at 40.84. Uh, and yeah, we got about 90 points there, so 90 points on ES. So those were two trades that I took, and then my family was actually in Florida uh, visiting, so, so I didn't really take uh, any other trades. I was kind of on the sidelines once that TP hit and I was watching but then on Friday I couldn't help but get in a short uh you know got in the short too early honestly uh, I was seeing some things one of them being the fear and greed index so if you take a look at fear and greed index I like to look at the put to call ratio so put to call ratio here where my mouse is is at 0.88 on March 31st we had the peak um previous video I said anytime we come up to the 1.1 1.2 on a put to call ratio, that's usually a sign that we're gonna squeeze out some shorts. So we squeeze out shorts, uh, but when we fall back to 0.8, it's usually a market top. We're not there yet, but whenever we make a lower low on put to call ratio, we're due for a sell off to stop out shorts. So we made this low March 22nd, 0.9 put to call ratio, spiked up put to call ratio, and then made a new low on Friday at 0.88. That's when I got in short, but I was still too early in the short because I shorted 40.99. I thought that we would top out at 4,100 because we did sweep all these highs here. So I thought maybe we'd have a reversal on Friday. So currently, uh, luckily only small size, uh, and I, I could add on Monday. I, I'm honestly looking to add on Monday if we go any higher than the 4140. So if we go to 4150 to 4175, um, that's when I'd actually look to add to my position. We could be targeting this recent high here at 4170. So we could go to 4170 on ES before coming down. But I drew some fair value gaps on the daily chart, uh, one of them being 4062 to 4075. In my personal opinion, I think that we are due to drop about 100 points on ES before continuing higher and taking out these highs. So 100 points would be from about 4140 down to 4040. So in my personal opinion, wherever my mouse is, I think it will fall uh, early, Monday to Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday. Wednesday at the latest will fall to about 40.40 before continuing back up and then taking out the highs to the left at 41.80, 41.70. However, if we continue to go up Monday, Tuesday, and we go, to four, we go straight to 41.70 and we take out these highs at 41.70 right here, I would add to my position and my stop will be at 4,200. So right now I'm in a short at 40.99. I am targeting this fair value gap down here from 40.50 to 40.20. However, I, I think that we're gonna fall to this fair value gap uh, first from 40.75 to 40.62. If we do that, then I'll just take profit on my trade because I am expecting that we will potentially come up into this 41.70 area and take out these highs. And that's when I would size up because I'm more confident in that trade. So basically, uh, Monday to Tuesday, I, I think we're going to have this pullback. Maybe Wednesday at the latest, we see 4060. I get out of my position. I may, may, I may long here, depending on the internals. But what I'm really looking for is the short from 4150 to 4175. 
targeting this fair value gap down here at some time in April from 40.50 to 40.20. So this is the big big area that I'm, I'm looking for. However, we could just continue to have strength, take out these highs first before coming down to this fair value gap. This is my highest probability case. Highest probability is Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. We come out down to the 40.60s and then sometime into the end of the week or even uh, sometime mid-April, we come back up and we make a high about 41.70. Then I get in short here. I get in short at about 41.70 and stop would be above all these highs here, 42.10. Uh, and then TP would be the fair value gap here. Um, the first target being 40.40. So this is, this is honestly what I'm in. This is what I'm looking at. So personally, you know, come back here. Honestly, it could get in a long, could get in a long mid, uh, midweek, this midweek, April could get in a long targeting the 4170. We'll see if I take that, but this is my highest probability scenario that I'm looking for. And that's where I'm looking to size up, uh, having to stop above all the recent highs and target being down here at about 4040 at some time mid past mid, maybe end of April. And then we could continue bullish May, June, July but we'll have to take a look at where other things are. So for news, Monday, we have not much news. All day we have OPEC and meetings. Uh, you actually see that they're cutting a lot of gas production. So gas and oil will probably go up on Monday, Tuesday, but um, Monday news, we just have ISM manufacturing and PMI. Um, nothing crazy. We have, a, we have Bank of Canada outlook, but then Tuesday is where we have jolts at 10 a.m. And 10 p.m. is we're going to have some New Zealand news. Wednesdays, we're going to have some ADP non-farm and ISM PMI. Thursdays, where we have some Canadian unemployment and U.S. unemployment, as well as some 10 a.m. news. But then Friday is where we have non-farm employment change. And that's typically the day we have big drops. Um, honestly, big, big moves usually happen on Friday, the first Friday of the month with non-farm and unemployment. So... Nothing huge this week, but um, yes, there's some news at 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. most days. Be on the lookout for that if you're holding any swings. Something I have noticed too is usually on breath, see stock market breath. Um, usually we have a bottom of breath. We get a good rally and a good rise uh, and we continue up higher. So we could have room to run onto the upside. That's why I'm just looking for these fair value gaps to be taken out and then continuation to the upside. So personally, like I said, I'm looking for this pullback early Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday down to 40, 70, 40, 60 get out of my small short position at 40.99 and then maybe take the long to take out these highs at 41.70 or just sit on the sidelines and build a position short at about 41.70 risking the most recent highs at 42.10 and uh, TP being down here uh, at this fair value at this fair value gap of first target being 40.40 could come down all the way down to 40.22 but looking to take profit about 40.40 because there's some support here to the left and that's a, a three to one R. So that's where I'd be looking to size up, honestly. UVXY was green. So it looks like UVXY has bottomed. This to me looks like we can continue up and whenever UVXY goes up, the market tends to go down. So this really looks like we had this massive rise and we're coming down to support and we could continue to go back up again. And if we go up, then that's when the market will pull back and go lower. VIX has been selling off, uh, kind of broke this, this trend line here. VIX just coming down. Uh, you can't really do trend lines on VIX, I, I found. I'm just taking a look at it. I, I think that if we make a new low on the VIX, then I see higher probability for us to recycle back up higher, but um, I don't know how many thoughts really here. NASDAQ has been continuing to lead in strength, and I think personally we see a little bit of rotation. Uh, on NASDAQ, I think we're going to see NASDAQ fall to uh, 12,970 by Tuesday or Wednesday, just um, into this fair value gap here that I've drawn from the uh, Wednesday highs into the Friday, uh, Wednesday highs into the Friday lows. So we'll see this fair value gap get hit Monday, Tuesday. This is what I'm looking at. We come down here Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, down into this fair value gap. It's the uh, high 12,900s, 12,970. And then maybe come back up again, possibly trade up into 13,400 or maybe as high as 13,500, but maybe 13,400 into uh, mid-April. And then target this fair value gap sometime by the end of April. So come down here into the end of April and get down to that 12,800 area. So again, could take some longs, could take some shorts here. I'm personally likely to trade ES more than NASDAQ because that's just what I trade most often. But uh, I potentially could take a short here at about 13,400, target at least the 12,920 uh, area, 
stop being about 100 points above the high that we make here. So if we come up to 13,500, then my stop would be at about 13,600. And the TP would be down here at the support and this fair value gap at the beginning of it at 12,920, just because NASDAQ has been stronger than uh, S&P 500. So we could have a shallower pullback on the NASDAQ. Uh, we could have a deeper pullback on the S&P 500. So that's why uh, personally, I'm still looking for shorts on ES over NASDAQ because we could see a little more tech strength. Uh, I could see a little more weakness with the banks again on ES. So just going to be taking a look at uh, that. On HYG, there's no divergence here at all. HYG has been spiking and rallying hardcore with S&P 500. So again, if you take a look at um, since February 24th and February 24th on SPX, we'll see that you know S&P 500 has rallied a little more than HYG. Now, it's very similar. There's no divergence. So HYG has been rallying, which is uh, smart money. Corporate uh, bonds have been rallying with the S&P 500. There's, which means there's no divergence, which means there's no real signal to get in short or even heavy short because these divergences have been playing out. I've talked about this uh, in the past. If S&P 500 rallies a lot, but HYG doesn't, or if HYG actually falls while S&P 500 is rallying, huge divergence, and then that's when we could start to scale some shorts. But right now, uh, there's no divergence, so it means that there's room to run uh, even higher, personally. So I could get stopped out of my, my short if we go higher and go straight towards that 4,200 area before pulling back. But I'm leaning more towards some of these gaps being filled, coming down to, um, you know, first gap here, about 40.50 on SPX, second one at 40.30. And uh, ES Futures is about 20 to 30 points higher than SPX. So, you know, if we come down to fill this gap at 40.28, that would translate to about 40.58 on ES, which also translates to 40.62 target here. This is why I think that, you know, we'll fill this gap right where my mouse is. We'll come down, fill this gap that we made from Wednesday to Thursday. I think this is the gap we'll fill uh, by Wednesday. So if you could just draw a line here about uh, Wednesday, we could fall down to here just about uh, Wednesday, April 5th. And that's where I'm looking to get out of my short position from 40.99 on ES futures. 10 year and two year continues to fall as uh, rate expectations to continue to go lower. So basically markets thinking that we're gonna have a pause soon and rate cut soon. And that because of that, the tech stocks will continue to rally. Dollar though is one last thing I wanted to cover. Dollar here, I think we're coming up to support here and we're gonna start to trade back up and actually target these highs here. So I think if personally, if we start to recycle up, you see the support here to the left Monday, um, February 6th, we're basically, I think we're, we're going to respect this low we made and we're going to continue to cycle back up and push higher. And because of that, if this happens, that's when the market will fall and we'll come down to the 4,000 level, possibly a little lower on S&P 500. But this is what I'm personally seeing. This is going to, this is why I also got into my short position because it looks like we're bottoming on the dollar. That's personally what I'm taking a look at this coming week for the ES and NASDAQ futures. If you trade ES and NASDAQ futures, you're definitely going to hit that subscribe button. I personally post two videos a week every Sunday and every Wednesday. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.